That's such a beautiful conversation, Palesa. But today is a masterclass, so I think it is only fair that you guys come on over to the kitchen. Pali, Ingrid, please come join me. Let's get this masterclass started, Pali. There's a beautiful recipe that I know you will definitely love, Palesa, because it focuses on the crew <laughs> sister that Ingrid was talking about. I'm very excited about that. Now, Ingrid, uh, we finished talking now. So now it's time to get dirty. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Well, let's make sure you're ready. You pop on that Afternoon Express apron and let's get cooking. Now, these all-time favorites have a way of putting a smile on everyone's face. And one such treat is the delectably mesmerizing Gusister. Glazed in a delicious syrup, then covered in a generous mound of desiccated coconut. This treat sure does sound yummy. And I believe that this recipe, doesn't it feature in your cookbook? It does. Um, and it's also the uh, the name of the magazine. <laughs> and it was, um, why it is so, it's a very important um, thing in South African history because you get a cook sister and mm. a cook sister. So a cook sister is um, that, uh, like a plat, and it's very sweet. Um, and then the cook sister is like a fed cook that you've dumped in, um, in um, some sugary syrup and then you put it in, in, in coconut. And it's not a cook sister, the k was dropped. So it's a cook. Sister. Oh. So that's the political statement right there. <laughs> you drop the K and you, you don't have to oh, even wow. explain what it means. Goosebumps. It is about the, uh, the Cape heritage and um, wow. the proud dish um, of the Malay people. Well, I'm hey. so excited. Let's get cooking. Dumi, what do we need to put this together? My smile is from ear to ear. I'm I so excited see, to Pali. start. I can see, Pali. So and what we need for that, we're going to make the dough on my side, which involves the flour. We've got some uh, melted butter, yeast. We've got some sugar, an array of spices that actually make it so signature, because I know itombolo or uh, uh, fed cook doesn't have this many flavors in it. Uh, but then one thing specific is we also have some narchi peel powder that we've got in here, mm. which comes from these narchi peels that have been dried and then uh, ground, <laughs> exactly. And this goes in there. And then, you, Ingrid, you've got the joy of making the syrup for us that's going to be where these ku sisters are going to be dunk, dunked in. And then, Pali, you're just going to mash up some potatoes for me that go into this uh, See, dough so as well. So we get to make the stuff that makes us um, not look like idiots. <laughs> You know, the simple stuff. That's all we're going to say, the simple stuff. I'm so I'm excited to get started with this because I do love a good cook, sister, and I also do love a good fed cook. And this is something in between all the above. So, Dumi, why the mashed potato, though? Well, that's actually something I want to, wanted to ask uh, Ingrid about because I know that when you're making all these other doughs that are similar to this, you wouldn't really add potatoes. So what would be the reason for adding uh, the mashed potato into a cook, a cook sister? Why are you asking? I just... <laughs> 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 Because at the end of the day, U Ingrid is quite proudly the curator yes. of the book. Can she... we be clear? <laughs> Can we be clear? I have no idea why they put potato in there. That's why the two of you are here. You are the special to you, Yes. Know? I'd like to believe, Balissa, the reason for it uh, being uh, added into this, to add that fluffiness to it, Balissa, because mm. it, it, there is some density that comes with this recipe. So just adding that fluffiness into the dish. But if I am that incorrect, makes sense. That please makes do sense. let us know on Afternoon Express what the exact reason is for the potato. Is being yeah. added into there because it adds, adds some body to the actual recipe. Mm. So into this palace, I've mixed all our dry ingredients. I've sifted the, sifted the flour beforehand. I've added some anise seed, which is very signature to this as well. There's also some ground cardamom, and all the dry ingredients come together here. And into this, to obviously bind the mixture together, I'm going in with some lukewarm water. We always say this, that if you're going to be working with this kind of dough, the liquid has to be warm, lukewarm, and not hot because okay. the heat kills the yeast, and we don't want that. And what's that again? The butter? This is the melted butter, yes. So if you'd like to, you could also use um, an oil. Um, I, I think the butter is great because of that richness that it, that it adds, as well as the addition of the egg. And it's not ramen. <laughs> <laughs> It's butter. It is butter. It is full-on butter that is nicely enriched. And I'm going to add this slowly into our dry ingredients and just fully incorporate it to a beautiful dough. And as usual, it has to rest for some time. So I'm going to get all of that started from my side. As someone who is a curator, you've pretty much set the standard in the industry. And I think that so many of us get drawn, not only to your work, but even to your social media platforms. Because it just seems like you just, you live your life out loud. You all about um, inspiring the next generation, saying, hey, I did it, you can do it even better. So for those that are following, trying to follow in your footsteps, um, no pressure. But what advice, tips, tricks, especially when it comes to print media, magazines, cookbooks alike, what advice 
advice would you give people like that? OK, so let me look into a camera to tell the nation. Um, you need to firstly get your butt on a chair. That's what you have to do. It's about elbow grease. Um, I've discovered I can't write anymore. Um, it's so ugly, but type it up. Um, if you have, if it's a cookbook, um, there are so many cookbooks out there, and we talk about a USP. So what is a USP? A USP is a unique selling point. Mm. What will make your book very different to someone else's book, and what will make it the best seller, seeing that, uh, that there are so many of, of it out there. Um, if you are curating, for example, like me, and you want your friends' recipes in it, or your grandparents, or you can, you can literally choose any, any, anything. But it has to be, again, go back to the point that says it's a USB. What is the unique yeah. selling point? Because if there's none, it's again like a Hurun Buenki Beredi. It's all the same. Something is cooking people. Oh, it's the, um, <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> that is how into the motivation she is. We are cooking. Let me remind you, Ingrid. But I think that information and um... it's also true for any book. It doesn't mm. matter. Any book. It get your behind on a chair, do it, and then don't show it to your best friends. They're just going to tell you you're cute. Yeah. Take that's it to true. someone who would be a little bit more critical, mm. and. Um, so that you get value, valuable information. Um, and, and there's no such thing as um, failure. Mm. There's no feedback. Mm. You use feedback not to feel like a failure, but to Elevate. get to the next step. Yeah. Well, as we are elevating here in the kitchen, we're also trying to elevate your flavor, your taste buds, and your skills in the kitchen. So, Domi, it seems as if we're almost about done. We're almost about done, Vanessa. Mm. So, what I did is I added the mixture here, that this mixture needs to rest for a bit. I'm going to need to go in and knead it and do all of that muscle grease, all that work. But, Vanessa, magic in the kitchen. I had some that were already made a little earlier. It's been rested. We rested it for about an hour, let it proof. And then after that, I then went and formed them into, I hope this is the right shape. Uh, please let me know if I'm, I'm, I'm correct. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, perfect. Wow. So we then dunk them in here, let them fry until nice and crispy. Once done, we're then going to soak them in this beautiful syrup sure. here, toss them in some of our desiccated co coconut, and that's it, Balissa. So I'm just going to continue cooking these until they're, in essence, cooked through. Beautiful. So it seems as if this is, as we always say, a labor of love. Nothing is an overnight success. Mm -hmm. As much as Dumi is still kneading in that girl, you already saw the finished product when it comes together perfectly, binding all those flavors. We're celebrating flavors, we're celebrating different aromatics, and we're celebrating African women. We hope we've inspired you to bring out those aprons and get cooking. To get this recipe, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full ingredients list. Ingrid's Lockdown Cookbook is sure to open up some interesting recipes, and we have one such recipe coming up as we're creating a botanical focaccia painting. Stick around.